Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths and the second episode of Simple Bread... Bread Journey? I don't know, something to do with breadboards anyway. So, part of the magic of breadboards is that you can stick a whole bunch of stuff in them that normally you'd need entirely separate blocks in order to utilize and one of those blocks is PIDs. And so what we're gonna do today is uh, just demonstrate how to stick PID controllers all nicely contained in a breadboard and a simple trick that is very handy to know for PIDs if you want to make nice evasive airships. And so what we've got here is an airship of sorts uh, made using a prefab a little alloy hull and it flies and it actually does well everything you'd want an airship to do really except uh, it's just the AI controlling all this now so we're just gonna turn this off and out of the sky she falls. This is no bueno, so we need PIDs, but we're gonna do PIDs in the breadboard, because that is fun and cool. So, let us dive in here and get breadboarding, get baking, as they say. So I'm just going to let you flop around in the water for a bit. So, to start off with, we're gonna do the roll and the pitch control, because that's nice and important. And uh, because that main altitude propeller is slightly off center of mass, the thing is going to pitch backwards wildly uh, if we do that first. So we're going to start with roll and pitch. So we're going to go here. First thing we're going to do is find the orientation input. So here we have orientation input. It's already set to roll. And then we're going to place another one that's set to pitch. And we want to plug this into PID controllers. And ta-da, here it is. Here's a PID controller, please pardon the hammer blows, somebody's building something upstairs. And we're going to input this into the process variable, which, as the tagline says, might be the current altitude roll, pitch, whatever, and is the value we're trying to adjust. So we'll right click there, and it does really help to read in the breadboard. It's like, you know, it's easy to miss. And yeah, so we've got that, and now we want to put a constant uh, in here. So the set point, so desired value of the whatever it is, altitude pitch roll. So the constant for this, uh, since this is pitch and roll, and we want this thing to be nice and steady, is zero. So we're going to put constants of zero in there. And now we've got our PID all ready to control roll and pitch and set it to zero. And now here's the bit that's less intuitive and took me a hot second to figure out. We're going to have multiply in here, and these are going to be set to negative numbers, so the thing does the opposite value of whatever this number is, which is very important. It's uh, how the thing actually corrects itself. And from there, we're going to have a propulsion input. So that's down here, down on the components there. Don't confuse this propulsion with, this, uh, with the propulsion up here that's labeled with exactly the same word. So we're going to go here, going to go here, and we're going to set this fella to roll right left and we're going to set this fella to pitch up down so we do that and magically we've got roll and pitch control so currently we're not flopping around that much uh, because uh, we're currently sitting in the water and if i just drop us in there you'll see we're still being nice and steady roll and pitch is functioning beautifully all right so what about altitude Good news is the altitude is done in a pretty similar way. Uh, so for this, you're going to need an altitude component. So that is the altitude of whatever the vehicle is. And we're going to have a constant again. And we're going to set this to, oh, I don't know, let's set it to 150, because that seems airship-like. And then we're going to go get our PID controller. And we're going to plug this altitude here into the process variable and the constant value into the set point. And then we don't need a multiplier because this is pretty much straight up uh, whatever the PID wants to do, wants to change the number there, uh, like pretty directly you don't need a multiplier in here. We're just going to go find the propulsion control and we're going to set that to up which is default and bang, we have achieved altitude. And you will see, we're just hovering slightly above there. Turn that on, you'll see our main propeller is doing a wonderful job, splendor first job, keeping us hovering like so. So it is moving backwards, 
And by the way, if you want to mess around with the values of the PID themselves, you can do that. You can turn the game down a little bit. You can mess with the integral and the derivative. We're not talking about that much now, because I tend to find that just forgetting the your craft to do whatever the hell you wanted to do, you can just generally leave this fine. The default value is pretty okay. Uh, but if you want the thing to actually, like, you know, float and be perfectly still and stable, you can mess around with those numbers as much as you want. So, that is the, uh, I was about to say the easy bit, the straightforward bit is probably a little bit more accurate. And so we're gonna wander off, and now here's where we start wobbling. Uh, probably because, uh, the, uh, need to mess with the roll control a little bit, that's fine. The main thing is that I can turn this fella off, and it can still do whatever it likes, which is hover. So now for the trick I mentioned. So I tend to find with airships, and you tend to see this fairly often uh, with Nita airships, the more formidable ones, uh, they bounce up and down. They have their PID, or just AI control, set to essentially rise and sink in the air uh, constantly, which creates a kind of sine wave uh, flight pattern, which means that they're really good at dodging projectiles. So... Uh, cram cannons or even advanced cannons, uh, sometimes even missiles, depending on how fast the airship is, they can just bounce up and down, and it's uh, very good for evasion. So, how do you do that? How do you set up a bouncy PID within a breadboard? So, reasonably straightforward once you know how to do it. So, it's all to do with uh, this, the constant input. So, we are going to put in here a timer and a switch. So, we're going to go find our timer, which is here. And we want to set that to timer. And we want to set that timer to 20 seconds. Because what we want is this thing to change uh, this number here, the set point, every 10 seconds. Uh, which means that uh, the switch uh, needs to get an input there that every 10 seconds goes above 10 seconds. Make sense? We'll see here. So here we have a switch. And we're going to set the threshold to 10 seconds. And we're going to set the open value to 200. So that's 50 meters above that. And we're going to plug this fella in here. We're going to plug this in here. And we're going to plug this in here. So every 10 seconds, uh, this should change altitude. So if we do this correctly, we'll see. Aha, we have bounced up to 200 meters. And wait for it. We are suddenly going to sink. Whoop, where are we? Sudden sinkage, and wait for it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and wee! up we go. So you can set that to be as much or as little as you want, but what you're seeing here is a nice bouncy airship. In this particular case, because this thing is so light, we could probably set that timer even shorter. We could set it to, oh, I don't know, let's set it to change every 5 seconds. So what we'd do here is we'd set this to 10. And we set the threshold to 5, and now we're going to have a super bouncy airship. Wee bouncy bouncy. And we can send this thing on its merry way, and uh, definitely not something you want to go on a casual cruise with, but uh, this thing, if we, oh I don't know, if we spawn in a marauder, the marauder is going to have an absolutely miserable time uh, trying to hit this. Did I set that correctly? Yes I did. Assuming the Marauder can't even hit us at all. Because we're moving too fast. Come on, Marauder, do your best. Try and shoot me, I dare you. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, come on. Come on, Marauder, you know you want to. I'm getting distracted. If this actually hits my airship, I'm going to be tremendously upset. I don't think he can even aim high <laughs> enough to reach us. It might manage eventually, but that's basically it for PID controllers in breadboard. It's just once you know what component to stick into what other component and know what the numbers do, reasonably straightforward. It took me an embarrassingly long time to figure that out, and I did have help. So when in doubt, uh, go make a friend somewhere who knows how to work it. But if you don't have that, don't panic. Um, if you really don't know how to use Redboard, you can use other things in order to accomplish the same thing. It's no biggie. But, I'll keep making these videos, and hopefully someone will be helped. And if you learned nothing, I hope you enjoyed this wobbly airship. So anyway, 
wow, that Marauder really is confused by us. It doesn't know what to make of us. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or use your membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Simple bread journey. Bread diary? I don't know. Future me, think up a title for this please. Farewell.